Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be doing a video about AMC. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our investor journey together. Today we're going to be doing a video about AMC. Where is my AMC price prediction for this week? Where do I think AMC is going to be going? And do I still think that AMC is going to go through a short squeeze? But before I start the video, guys, please make sure to know that everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It is just for good fun and educational purposes only. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. So now uh, taking a look at AMC, kind of what's been happening with the, the overall market in itself. We take a look at the one week chart. We see AMC's down about 14.18%. Uh, Looking at the one month chart, AMC down about 43% and AMC is trading about 60% below its all-time highs, which is around $72. Taking a look at the one-year chart, still up 726%, which is not too bad. And looking at the five-year chart, it's up 13.89%. So we're really looking at it, seeing what AMC has actually been going through. You know, AMC has not really been doing too well. You know, this is not a shock to investors. This is not something that's new. We know that AMC stock is not doing too well. But what we do know is, you know, people are still adding to their short positions, you know, people taking advantage of the market right now. You guys can see that the market right now is not doing too well. You know, a lot of stuff is red. A lot of stuff is crashing. The Dow today was down about 800 points, which is a lot. Uh, people generally afraid of the new D strain uh, kind of, you know, new COVID strain that's coming out, which does play a role with AMC. How is this actually correlated? Because a lot of states are going back into orange tier. Me and myself was in LA yesterday and saw that, you know, places were requiring face masks again and stuff like that so this could potentially hurt amc in the long run which is probably did lead to a little bit of a sell-off in the entertainment industry if anything took the biggest hit during covid it was stuff like amc because entertainment went to an all-time low people could not go to movie theaters and stuff like that but we're going to have to play that by year and see how bad this new d strain actually gets but looking at it on paper i think that amc right now it's a good time to buy it if you guys have been waiting for the overall dip like i said it's not financial advice but for me i don't think it's over for amc stock and i still do think that amc stock is going to go through a short squeeze a lot of the shorts have not covered to their short positions just yet if anything you know they're taking advantage of the market right now and how red it's been to continue to push the stock down and add to their short positions, which in theory is only going to make the squeeze bigger when AMC stock does actually squeeze. Like I said, I have not given up on AMC. I have not sold my position in AMC because I still do think that AMC stock is going to squeeze and I still do have a price target of $1,000. I still do think that AMC is going to go above $1,000 that is just my personal opinion. That's what I personally think. Yes, it's it's kind of hard to believe that with AMC, you know, continuously week after week falling, and we've seen AMC not do so well over the last month. Like I said, down 43.67% of its value. It's hard to believe, you know, when people are like, okay, you know what, it's still going to squeeze when AMC has just been absolutely getting demolished. But when we look at it on paper, you know, we see that the short positions are still adding, you know, people who are shorting the stock are still adding to their positions. Taking a look at the one year chart, you know, like I said, we did get a recap of this back in January 27th of 2021, where people continued to short the stock, people kept pushing it down, which did lead to a little bit of a run up on June 2nd when people were adding the stock. I do think that it is going to revisit those all time highs. And I do think that people are going to start adding money to AMC. It's kind of hard to correlate in itself why people are selling off AMC, but I want people to understand as well that it's not just AMC stock in general that's being sold off. It's a lot of different stocks, a lot of stuff, stocks in the high growth sector like Neo Tesla, you know, even the S&P 500 stocks, even cruisers are down about 20 to 30% over the last month as well. So I mean, anything really pertaining to anything that has to do, you know, with COVID, people are getting scared. So overall, the market is not doing well. So I don't want people to attribute, you know, the losses in AMC of just being this specific stock in itself. It's a lot of the market right now that's not really doing too well, which is going to play an everlasting effect. But as market uncertainty continues, you know, it's kind of hard to tell where AMC is going to go from here. But in the long run, even in the shorter kind of term long run in the next month, next two months, you know, as people continue to see that maybe this D strain is not that big of a deal, stuff like that people are going to start adding money to AMC as well. And I'm not downplaying COVID or anything like that. All I'm saying is, you know, we've been through this before. We, we can handle the situation a lot better. We don't probably need to go full lockdown again. We have vaccines that are being rolled out, which is awesome. But when it comes to pretending to AMC and where I think AMC is actually going to be headed this personal week, I probably do see a little bit of potential upside from AMC this week. Like I said, we started off today at 6 a.m., $32.93. And we see here uh, 6.55 a.m. down about 10%. And right now it's only down about 1.89%. So it's made a little bit of ways back up. 
depending on how the market does react this week, it's probably going to play how AMC in itself is actually going to be doing as well. Like I said, it's tough to say, but AMC generally does follow market trends. It generally does follow how the market is doing. And right now, people are not buying anything. People are taking advantage of the market in itself. Yes, that's true. But if anything, we see just a huge massive sell-off in every index right now and a lot of high growth stocks, a lot of tech stocks are being sold off as well. So you cannot attribute the sell-off to AMC as people not believing in AMC because if you take a look at it and see what's been going on with AMC, the buy orders are actually outweighing the sell orders. So it doesn't make any logistical sense on why people are actually selling off AMC stock. And I don't want people to understand that this is not really a sell-off. This is just market condition. You know, shorts are shorting the market once again. People taking advantage of the de-strain situation, the COVID, the panic in the market. So shorts use this to push the stock down. This has nothing to do with it actually being a sell-off in itself. People sometimes do mistake the difference, but I want people to understand that you know, me personally, I do see a lot of upside potential in AMC stock over the next week, over the next couple of weeks, and over the next couple of months as well. And I still do think that we are getting a squeeze out of AMC. My opinion on this has not changed. As people who continue to short that stock add to their short positions, you know, this is ultimately going to lead to a bigger, big, the bigger the squeeze nonetheless. And why is that? Because you know, they continue to short millions and millions and millions of shares. Eventually, these shares have to be paid back. But the hedge funds, they get greedy. They want to pay these shares back at super cheap prices. If we start seeing the upside potential, if retail continues to buy again, people start rotating in. Even the big time investors start using this as kind of like day to day day trades and money plays. We're going to see the money start flowing back into AMC as it already is. Money is already flowing in, but even more money is going to start flowing into AMC, which is going to prop the stock upward and it's going to basically be able to push the stock upward enough for the shorts to have a sense of fear to actually cover their positions. Right now, there is no sense of fear. Why is that? Because the stock has continued to fall. You know, shorts taking advantage of this, continue to push the stock down because no one's going to buy when the stock is falling. That's just kind of how it goes down. But when we start getting the green weeks again, as AMC stock starts to go up once again, shorts are going to have to cover their positions at some point. But with that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. You guys let me know down in the comments below, guys, what we think of AMC stock. Do you guys think AMC stock is going to go through a short squeeze? If you guys own AMC stock, how many shares do you guys own and what's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.